Mm. Hey, baby, would you go see Star Wars Episode Nine if Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker's jacket was just in the movie? Hmm. How about his socks? Hello. I started this gangster shit. And this the mother thanks I get. Hello. I started this gangster shit. And this the mother thanks I get. All right, all right. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You're listening to Ethan Van Skyver, comic book artist with 25 years experience in this business. Uh, I am the creator of Cyberfrog. Hey, say hi, Cyberfrog. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> you can get a copy of Cyberfrog Blood Honey in the link below the description. I am the illustrator of Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life and a great big Star Wars fan. Uh, this is interesting. Mark Hamill is so much fun. I uh, absolutely love Mark Hamill, and hes you can tell he's just uh, a mischief maker and quite a guy. Uh, Mark Hamill drops Star Wars casting tees cloaked in mystery. This is from CNET. CNET.com. Uh, uh, is it? Yeah, it's C slash net. Um, but I like this person's name. My name is Gail Fashingbauer Cooper. You don't say. Uh, is Luke Skywalker set to make an appearance in Episode 9? Uh, or is it just a certain item of his clothing? Oh, I want to know more. I want to know more. Uh, who's ready for some big casting news from Star Wars Episode IX? Here it is, straight from Mark Hamill himself. Uh, on Wednesday, the actor tweeted, Breaking news. Star Wars Episode Nine writer-director J.J. Abrams casts empty robe in latest installment of much-anticipated space saga. By that much-anticipated space saga, he means Star Wars. Almost certainly he means Star Wars. He can't possibly mean Star Trek. Nobody wants to see any more Star Trek uh, that I know of. Uh, all my friends want to see Star Wars. So that he must mean Star Wars. Uh, here's his cloak. That's spooky. Look how it's mounted there. Like if you owned this item of clothing, I'd, you'd want it to be mounted like this, like somewhere in your garage, I guess. I don't know. What would you? Where would you put this? Where would you put this? Uh, yeah. So, the actor who plays Luke Skywalker is just having a little fun with Star Wars devotees. He knows that despite, spoiler, certain events of The Last Jedi, he just disappeared. He looked into the sunset, and he faded away, and his robe landed on the ground. Yeah, it was very sad. It was like Yoda. It was a little like Yoda when Yoda died. Uh, it wasn't like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, because when Obi-Wan Kenobi died, like his robe just went... And fell to the ground, like, in a violent, like, kind of, like that. I mean, just, uh, you know, when Yoda died, his blankets just slowly kind of lowered to the ground, or lowered to his mattress. Did he have a mattress? I don't know if Yoda had a mattress. What was Yoda sleeping on? Uh, and then when Luke died, yeah, it was the same kind of thing. He just faded away, and his robe just gently plopped to the ground. Um, so, I mean, that, that could be what this is. It could just be, uh, that they go back and they find Luke's robe and Luke's robe needs to be in the movie. Luke's robe is a character in the movie. Uh, obviously Ray is going to find it. Uh, who else? Maybe Lando and Hans, Han Solo will find it. I'm sorry. I'm not letting go of that. Some people are saying I'm crazy for believing, but I, I do believe it's quite possible that Lando Calrissian rescued Han Solo, patched up the hole through his heart. <laughs> I don't know. Was it through his heart? Uh, and uh, saved his life last minute, just like they did Luke Skywalker in Empire Strikes Back. Same situation. Uh, and then they're both going to look for Luke and they're going to find his robe, his empty robe. Um, yeah. yeah. Many viewers would like to see his character return to wrap up the Space Saga in December 2019. But with this joke, he seemed to hint that there's truly nothing left of Luke to show up. That's right, but what about that Force ghost? What about that blue Force ghost that we keep hearing about? We keep hearing the phrase Force force ghost. Can we, do, can we use a Force ghost to force Mark Hamill uh, to be Luke Skywalker one more time? Why not? And, you know, uh, yesterday we talked about how Mark Hamill took pictures of himself shaving off his big, bushy Luke Skywalker beard. He had that big beard, made him look cool, made him look like an old man Luke Skywalker. And then he shaved off his face. He's got baby face now. He's got kid face. Whenever I shave my beard, Kaylee's like, you have kid face. Yeah, and it creeps everyone out. Uh, but uh, Luke Luke actually looked like Luke. Mark Hamill actually looked like young Luke Skywalker again. What could that mean? We don't know. He's playing games with our heart. 
Uh, fans on Twitter appeared to take the joke in stride. Teased one fan. Wow, this movie is cloaked in mystery. I don't know if the fan really spoke like that. Uh, it's not probably not nice to give him a soy boy voice. We don't we don't know. Uh, and another slyly said, I heard it fundamentally disagrees with the direction director J.J. Abrams has taken it in, uh, as it prefers to be folded and kept in a drawer and not hung in a closet. Uh, I don't know that he spoke like a hillbilly like that. I don't I don't know. Uh, John Huey. Okay, I don't know about what John Huey sounds like. Uh, I don't. I don't know what Joshua Ray sounds like either, so I apologize to both of those gentlemen for, for judging them. Uh, Tim Wright, servant of Lathless, uh, says, What the hell? Why cast an empty robe when Disney has this awesome cape? Just what, Guys, this isn't funny. This isn't funny at all. This is about Luke Skywalker and whether or not Luke Skywalker is going to be in the next movie. Why joke about this? I don't find this funny. Uh, do we cheat him and how? Oh, that's a... Um, is that a Marx Brothers joke? Uh, give the cape a prequel. All right, don't give him any ideas. That's actually, that sounds reasonable. Adam Stephen Kelly says, help me empty robe. You're my only hope. That's poignant. That's a poignant joke. Uh, and Josh Thompson says, removes robe. It's old man Kenobi who runs the abandoned Jedi temple, points at Force Ghost. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling Padawans. Okay, that's a, that's a little nerdy. That's a Scooby-Doo joke. Um, combined uh, with combined with Star Wars and the prequels and uh, A New Hope. Uh, as to whether Hamill will actually appear, even in flashback or as a force ghost, no one, not even the robe will say, the robe can't talk. It looks like it can, but it can't. That is cool. I would like to own that. If you own that, would you wear it? I'd, I'd wear it. I would wear it. Uh, yeah, I almost bought uh, the Greatest American Heroes costume. Uh, you better believe I would have worn it, but it only came in um, XL. I needed it to. An XL would have fit just fine. Would have fit just fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hamill joked about this before in May. Uh, he tweeted a mock action figure set that was low on both the action and the figure. It's official, Hamill wrote then. Episode 9, Return of the Dead. Guy confirmed. Merchandising doesn't lie, and this Luke Skywalker force projected to a nudist planet set including empty robe, meditation rock, and missing Luke figure definitely confirms my theory. Uh, oh wow, look at that. That must be a San Diego exclusive. That's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I wonder if I can get someone to bring me home one of those. Um... It's been a lively week for the actor. On Tuesday, Hamill thanked astronomer Roy A. Tucker, who announced last week he'd named an asteroid after the actor. Uh, Thanks so much, Roy, Hamill wrote in a reply. I looked for it last night, but the visibility in Malibu was too hazy for me to see it. I'll try again tonight. He signed off as uh, 110026 Hamill, the full name given to the asteroid. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine, with or without Luke and his robe, is set to open December 20th, 2019. Look, uh... Uh, here's all right he's gonna be in the movie he's definitely gonna be in the movie he's being funny he's having fun uh mark hamill is just the light of star wars right now he is the light and the life he is the way he is the myth he is the legend he's everything that's left of the heart of star wars so uh, i do think he wouldn't be breaking our heart uh if he wasn't uh if he wasn't gonna be in the movie um force ghost luke skywalker I guess, you know, I would like to see him and Force Ghost Yoda uh, both uh, smack Rey around when they're training her. We know Yoda's going to be in the movie. They told us that Yoda was going to just be in awe of how great the mastery uh, Rey has achieved of the Force is. Uh, of course, I, I have uh, said that Rey is going to train Yoda in the ways of the Force. Rey is going to end up training Force Ghost Yoda. Uh, and then Rey is going to go on to train the Force itself. Um, I think uh, I can picture... Uh, Luke Skywalker and Yoda uh, working together, young Luke Skywalker, working with uh, Force Ghost uh, Yoda um, to train Rey. I think that's entirely reasonable and entirely cool, and I can I can picture it. I don't know, guys. Um, this movie's going to be junk. It's going to be junk. It's going to be like uh, pan scrapings of a Star Wars movie. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm finding I'm finding this all kind of fun. <laughs> I don't, 
<laughs> let's go. Let's get episode nine over with. Let's make it bomb so we can get these people out of here uh, and, uh, you know, move on to uh, what, something better. Move on to the Obi-Wan Kenobi and, uh, you know, Boba Fett and uh, Jabba the Hutt movies uh, under uh, new management, please. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. Talk to you there. Show your friends you support independent comics while showing the world who you back in the fight against the swarm with the brand new Cyberfrog t-shirt from Crypto Fashion and Comic Artist Pro Secret. Sizes come in small to 5XL and take your choice of colors between navy blue, white, and black. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and order the Phantom Menace, Go Get Daddy's Belt, Tico, and Soilo t-shirts as well. Link is below in the description. You're going to look great. People love these shirts. They fit wonderfully. Thank you very much. Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. Hello, friends. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book creator who worked for 20 years for Marvel and DC Comics on books like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Batman, and X-Men. But before that, I had a comic book called Cyberfrog. Now, Cyberfrog lasted from 1993 to 1998, and then it stopped when I went to go work for DC Comics. Now I want to tell the story of where Cyberfrog has been for the last 20 years. I want to write, pencil, ink a book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey that tells the story of gigantic alien hornets that come to Earth and conquer it, sending Cyberfrog into deep hibernation, where he emerges now in the year 2018 into a completely alternate reality, a new world where these hornets have taken over, devastated humanity, using human skin to make gigantic wasp hives and harvesting human blood to make honey to feed their young. Very few humans still exist, but it's up to Cyberfrog to save what's left of humanity and turn back the damage that's been done by these wasps with his brother Salamandroid and his friend Heather Swain. I want you to help me do this. We're going to get colors by Kyle Ritter. He's a fantastic colorist, and he's going to make this book sing. Uh, I'd like this to be a 48-page one-shot prestige format, part one of four. So I'm asking you to help me launch the very first Cyberfrog Blood Honey epic graphic novel. Are you in? Will you help me? I hope so. Let's get this frog jumping again. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned. Another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.